in the storied city of Lopburi, Thailand, a peculiar crisis is unfolding. The ancient streets, usually bustling with the footsteps of intrigued tourists, now echo with the rattling of shop fronts and the cacophonous chatter of an unexpected population. Monkeys. Renowned for their agility and intelligence, thousands of these primates have made the city their playground, climbing wires and leaping between buildings with a brazen confidence that suggests they rule the roost. For years, these macaques have been entwined with Lopburi's local culture, considered an attraction that lured curious travelers from across the globe. Many visitors engaged in the time-honored tradition of feeding the monkeys, a practice now deemed problematic by some for its contribution to the current state of affairs. However, what was once a charming quirk of the city has darkened into a pressing concern for residents and authorities alike. With monkey numbers estimated between 2,500 to possibly much greater, the local wildlife's behavior has grown increasingly aggressive during the quiet of the COVID-19 pandemic. Reports of macaque marauders attacking shops, instigating gang conflicts, and even biting residents have alarmed the community. Superporn Tanti Wong, an auto parts vendor, summarizes the sentiment as she recounts having to conduct her business through metal grills for protection against thieving primates. While there's evident affection for the monkeys amidst the chaos, she underscores the need for decisive action fearing for the safety of both people and the monkeys themselves. The heightened aggression, particularly among alpha males, has prompted the formation of a dedicated police unit wielding wooden slingshots, not to harm, but to deter. Parallelly, the Department of National Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conservation, DMP, adopts a more surgical approach, tranquilizing and relocating problematic monkeys. Their efforts are not without challenge, the macaques, cunning and adaptive, often thwart capture attempts, as evident in the case of one infamous gym teacher monkey. This level of intelligence complicates control measures, but officials like Kirkwit Pumpayak remain committed to humane solutions, including sterilization, to curb the burgeoning monkey population. This escalating situation has prompted involvement from the Royal Thai Army, indicative of the severity of the issue with sites set on capturing and relocating up to 2,300 monkeys to a permanent shelter, the road ahead is daunting. As the DNP gears up for this monumental task, with 37 aggressive monkeys captured since late March, the city of Lopburi hopes to restore the balance between its rich cultural heritage and the wild charm that has long defined it.